Hello everyone and a very warm welcome to my weekly update. Really hard for me to believe that this is my penultimate weekly vlog to you. The next one uh, of course will be my last. I can hardly get my head around the fact that I've done 10 years at the NFU and, and so much has happened. It feels in many ways that the time has gone incredibly fast until I, I sort of really look at what we've we've been through. And it's been great to be going around the country, catching up with everybody. This week alone, I've been to Cheshire, to Lancashire, to Cumbria, to North Riding and Durham, back down to Derbyshire, back for a day in London, and then finishing up in, in Dorset. And a lot of chance to reflect uh, on what's happened in the last 10 years, to listen to your um, concerns um, right now about what is happening, um, very different scenarios across all different sectors. But certainly on the SFI, um, I pick up quite a lot of people who are excited uh, about the uplift in payment rates. Um, and it's it's great to see that a lot of the work we've done over the years, you know, unbundling of the options, making sure the payment rates are fit for purpose um, is, is actually happening now. I still feel there is enormous frustration out there. And certainly my frustration is the fact that it is very much focused on less farming, effectively, less uh, production. So the sustainable farming incentive, we really need to be focusing on the sustainable food production scheme, I think, because we have got to be in incentivizing sustainable food. And actually, I was in a meeting this week whereby there was total agreement from everybody that sustainable food production is a public good. And of course, this was the point that Steve Barclay made at the Oxford Farming Conference, that food is a public good. Always so much debate with economists, so it's food security that's a public good. But of course, Sustainable food production is a public good because the level of regulation and legislation that we have around the production of food uh, in this country rightly deserves and needs a payment. But it's got to be about food production rather than about less production and just environmental crops. Um, so I hope that the dial is, is moving further forwards at pace now as we build up to an election a lot of engagement, of course, with politicians from all parties. And I'm really pleased that we'll be having a hustings at our conference. Um, both Steve Reid and Steve Barclay will be there, as well as farming ministers, Daniel Zeitner and Mark Spencer. And Tim Farron, of course, from the Liberal Democrats, he will be speaking as well. So really trying in my final days, effectively, at the NFU to move that dial towards sustainable food production, where I feel both in England and Wales, these sustainable farming schemes are actually about sustainable farming for the environment. Now, as important as that is, we cannot create food as a poor relation. We have got to be focusing on sustainable food production. And I hope from, from all parties that we're going to get some meaningful policy put forwards for the next uh, parliament, because the world is, is very different to the green Brexit, health and harmony, the, the road that started the journey effectively of, of this parliament. Um, so I'm, I'm really hoping that our conference will move the dial yet further forwards once again. And just to say a huge thanks for all the gifts that, that I've been given and the cards and, and such lovely heartfelt messages. It is so, so appreciated. I've even been given some honey as well because my voice um, at the end of last week was clearly um, suffering from too much talking, but I, I feel finally over the lurgy and, and much better now. So with that, uh, I will speak to you next week for what will be my last vlog. Um, so many memories. Uh, it really has been the most enormous privilege uh, to be in this role. The stakes, I don't think, could have been higher and they still are, the role of the NFU will continue to be incredibly important. But anyway, more of that next week. And as ever, please do look after yourselves wherever you are. Many thanks.